Today we will learn all about drainage and the person teaching me will be Scott Dammit, Gorba's trail director. Scott Dammit, Gorba trail director. Here, Scott explains how sand has eroded from the hill and has caused a problem with this section of the trail. What it's doing now is it's created a slightly sand bank and it's preventing this water from evacuating. So it's just right up here on the trail. So what we're gonna do is drain it off. The debris in this section of trail is not allowing the water to drain properly. Removing it allows the water to flow once again. Now, we have to create proper drainage. So one of the tips they tell you to do is to basically make a circle like this, okay? Once you've got that radius, that's, that's your drainage area. So it's wide and shallow. It'll pull water from all those places. It won't clog, that's the point. Short and skinny and deep. It'll work, it'll cause more drainage issues, it'll cause more erosion in that channel. You make it shallow and wide, and it'll just easily flow out, nice and slow. In some cases, the persistent low spot is the lowest point in the immediate area. With no good options for building nearby drainage, it creates a muddy puddle. In this case, we will use crushed limestone to help fill the area. The only problem is it's very heavy, which makes it difficult to move to remote sections of the trail. Luckily, we have local support. We will spread the crushed limestone evenly across the area, then pack it down with the McLeod. I learned a lot from Scott today. Very valuable lessons that I will use to help maintain the trail section by my house. Trail maintenance is time consuming and hard work. If you are a mountain bike rider, please try to avoid the trail when it's soft and muddy. The tires on your bike will dig ruts in the trails later creating more work for the trail volunteers. Thank you for watching and see you again next week. Always wear a helmet when you go bike riding.